Bioinformatics for Infectious Diseases is an online training program designed for biologists, clinicians, students that are interested in virology and immunology, who would like to learn about the use of bioinformatics and big data for infectious disease research, diagnostics, as well as drug design and vaccine development. As we hear more and more about infectious diseases in the news, for the first time we can learn about recent outbreaks, and even the current coronavirus pandemic, by analyzing data that is made available for the research community with increasing speed and in increasing volumes. For this ongoing coronavirus outbreak, detailed maps of reported cases, genomic information from viral strains, protein structures, and other data is being updated on a daily basis, opening the door for anyone to access and use this information. We've designed this program to introduce the data, resources, and tools that you can use to apply bioinformatics to publicly available data on infectious diseases. In this program, we will understand viral diversity and its role in epidemic infectious diseases that keep re-emerging, including zoonotic transmission, transmission between humans, and the process of viral and bacterial disease development. We'll learn about bioinformatics analysis approaches to study viral genomes and understand the relationships between viral strains, haplotypes, finding the differences in sequence data, and seeing the implications of drug and vaccine design. You'll gain hands-on experience by analyzing curated datasets from public domain collections, guided by experts with bioinformatics experience and knowledge about virology. We will see how bioinformatics can help us understand zoonotic transmission, viral replication, and adaptation to various tissues in our body, which have the potential to evade and overcome our immune response. Together, we will understand how data analysis tools can help detect viral genomes in next-generation sequencing data. We will identify specific viral strains and study haplotype diversity by analyzing next-generation sequencing data processing FASTQ and FASTA files. We will then apply comparative analysis to gain insights into specific characteristics that are important for vaccine design, and then look into the principles of antiviral drug design, as well as the development of resistance to standard drugs, including superviruses that do not respond to standard antivirals and superbacteria that do not respond to antibiotics. The program will provide several examples of disease projects with curated datasets, as well as guided analysis sessions to see how bioinformatics is used for infectious disease research. In each example, we'll use an epidemic outbreak and study available data to understand how we can analyze factors that contribute to the rate of infection, outcomes, and other symptoms, linking them to viral genomic data. We'll also discuss major publications that come out during and after these epidemics to see how volumes of available data and innovative approaches to data analysis led to major discoveries that resulted in better understanding of the disease. Additionally, we'll talk about the development of vaccines, antiviral drugs, and enhance our understanding of disease progression that's changing both diagnostic and intervention strategies. In the hands-on sessions, you'll learn how to find, download, and then use the data that's available freely on NCBI. This data requires effective use of bioinformatics analysis methods to process, analyze, and interpret biologically meaningful patterns. We'll then learn about these analysis approaches to study viral genomes, and then practice on curated data sets that have been prepared, annotated, and tested by our team of experts. You'll have the opportunity to use the intuitive tBioInfo platform, where such analysis can be performed easily for large numbers of full genomes or even NGS data directly from patients. For example, in the course we will teach you about the phylogenetic relationships between different viral strains by performing a similar analysis on our own. This will be done in order to help you understand how we can both visualize and study this kind of data in a meaningful and practical way. By practicing analysis on prepared data sets, you'll begin to understand the meaning of each step and will be able to design an analysis of your own. You'll also be able to gain a biologically interpretable result and then visualize those as well as share them with others. We'll also review several tools that are developed in order to navigate large data sets and then connect the various aspects of sequence, structure, and metadata into a single experience. We will map mutations that occur on the three-dimensional structures of viral proteins 
which can be studied separately, or in complexes, as they are found during viral replication inside the cell. Genomic data analysis can be utilized to see the changes between viral strains and different significance levels of detected changes due to their 3D position on protein structures. You will find that multiple sequence alignment can be a powerful tool to understand viral adaptations that occur between animals and humans. Additionally, you'll study the relationship between viral and host proteins, such as the trimeric SARS coronavirus surface spike glycoprotein. This protein binds a cellular receptor called angiotensin converting enzyme 2, or ACE2 for short, and mediates the fusion of the viral surface membranes through a pre- and post-fusion conformational transition. This type of structural data is also important for antiviral drug design, such as NSP1 host transition inhibitor. This protein facilitates efficient viral gene expression in infected cells, as well as the evasion from host immune responses. We will also discuss the relationships between conserved regions and viral proteins, the structure of small molecule binding sites, and the efficacy of antiviral drug design for diverse viral populations, or haplotypes typically present in a given outbreak. We welcome you to join the program. We invite students, biologists, and clinicians that see the value as well as the opportunity of big data to both understand and study infectious diseases and their agents, which are viruses and bacteria. The program will start on May 4, 2020. We welcome you to register early to benefit from discounts and ensure availability.